So I'm guessing nobody here had any luck for the Terrifier VHS. I had zero luck for the Terrifier 2 VHS at two Walmart locations. I, I guarantee you it's just people just scooping them all up and selling them on eBay. Because if you go on eBay, there's like dozens of listings. My girlfriend stopped at Walmart on her way home yesterday and didn't see them. But I think maybe they just weren't out yet. So when I went to Walmart today, I mean, I guarantee you someone just came in in the morning and, and bought them all, which is unfortunate. I'm hoping that maybe they restock it. I'm not gonna hold my breath. I really wanted that VHS, but I didn't like, didn't, like feel like I needed it. Finally here, after much deliberation, soul searching, second guessing myself, trips to Walmart, asking other people to go to Walmart, asking my friends if they found it, all the emotional trauma and struggle that I've been through, I have it now. Was it worth it? I don't know. Let's find out. It seems like everything today is 4K, HDR. Totally tubular. <laughs> now VHS has been on the rise for quite some time. Uh, more as a nostalgic kind of throwback. Although some younger people, they seem to be into it for the novelty, as am I. I'm, I'm no, I don't really generally watch. I do watch my VHS tapes. It's more of a novelty kind of nostalgic thing for me. It's not like I prefer to watch things on VHS. I will always want to get the highest quality that I can, but it is fun, I think, to watch these kind of things in a lo-fi format where everything is so clean and pristine nowadays. It's fun to kind of go back and, and take a look at some of these films through a different lens. So, when I saw that Terrifier 2 is being put out on VHS, I thought, that looks really cool. And it was a good, good price point, 25, no, I'm sorry, 30 
I think it was $29.99, so about $30. Now, these were shipped to several Walmarts across the country. Not every Walmart got these. I think it was about 4,000 Walmarts. From what I could tell from when I went and looked for them, it looked like you could fit about five of them on the shelf, and they were never restocked. So I'm assuming that Walmart only got about five copies per store. So there are a decent amount of them out there. The problem is it seems as though which tends to happen when there's no cap on purchasing limited items. Scalpers uh, had a field day with this item. You know, it's a shame when uh, they're then selling them on eBay for ridiculous prices. It seems like these were reasonably priced. Reasonably priced on eBay. I believe most of them were going for about $60. Now I should straight up say, I obviously, if you saw the intro to this video, I did buy this on eBay. And that's because there's just no way to get a hold of these right now. I do believe Walmart will be restocking these. Um, they were such a popular item. I, I think that they're going to restock them. Now, I don't know for sure because that also comes down to sourcing the VHS tapes, which in today's world can be a little finicky. So, full disclosure, I did buy this on eBay. I was not able to find it in the store. Maybe your luck will be different, but at this point in the game, this has been out for a couple days now, you might have to wait for a restock in a month or so maybe, or bite the bullet and buy it on eBay if you really want it. But all that out of the way, I really wanted to take a look at this and actually pop this into my VHR. I really wanted to take a look at this and pop this into my VCR. I'm not the kind of guy that just doesn't open their VHSs. I think it's kind of silly when like sealed VHSs go for like $2,000 or something. I think that's just insane to me. I don't understand why you would want that, but to each their own. So I am going to open this VHS. We're gonna see what we got inside the box and we're gonna see how it looks. So first and foremost, we have a du dual duo VHS in here. Believe this does have some special features. There's an introduction. I'll show you the back right now. There is an introduction by writer director Damien Leone, Terrifier 2 Convention Phenomenon featurette, Art Crispy's Scratch and Sniff sticker, Screenbox 30 day free trial, and I believe that's it as a Screenbox logo on it, Bloody Disgusting, Cineverse, Broke Horror Fan, and Witter International. But yeah, I mean, that's it. You know, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty bare bones release. You know, I think $30 is a very fair price point. Um, you have to decide for yourself if it's worth the $50, $60 that's going for on eBay currently. So, with that out of the way, let's break the seal and, um, and take a look at uh, what's inside. So I'm gonna be trying to be really careful because lately when I do these videos and I unbox things, I just mess everything up. So, like that. So it's just a regular old cardboard sleeve, whatever you want to call it, like you'd get on a standard release. Not clamshell, nothing like that. I can see the stickers are already falling out of here. So let's go ahead and pull these tapes out. Oh, that's kind of cool. So here you go, cassette one. Um, now I'm not sure what kind of VHS this is. Um, if you know anything about VHS, there's different qualities. It doesn't seem to really matter too much. But, you know, it seems like a standard VHS. Now, I do find it interesting that there are, like, some smudges and scratches and stuff on this. And I am almost willing to bet these just came from some bulk uh, VHS. Uh, you know, I mean, I have a bunch of bulk VHS. Uh, it could be, you know, old, used stuff. Um, I don't believe they manufacture VHS anymore. I could be wrong, correct me in the comments if I am wrong. I would love to know. But I do think it's cool that the spindles in there are black and the spindles on the back are also black. That's pretty That's pretty nifty. I do like that a lot. Let's look at the second one. I'm sure it's the same as the first one. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's not good. The second one is not, um, 
does not have the black spindles. This is just actually a regular VHS. But I did notice there's something loose in there. Uh, I don't know if this will come up on camera. This is uh, definitely a used VHS, which is fine. Totally fine. But I was curious about how they were going to go about um, acquiring these VHS tapes. And that leads into my point, like I said before, about restocking these. I don't know what the manufacturing process looks like for this. It might be a while before they can get more out. I don't know. You see this little smudge on the back. Again, I'm not complaining about this. I just think it's interesting how they uh, got these VHS tapes. So maybe I'll open this up later and see what's, what's rattling around in there. So this is cassette two. We have cassette one and two. Uh, they both say 130, 138 minutes. So I imagine it's recorded in, in standard mode. Otherwise they'd be able to fit it all in one, I think, but it would be probably a low quality. Before we pop these in, this must be for the trial. Screen box for 99 cents is what it says on the back. I'm not gonna show that. I don't know much about screen box. If you, you know, if you use screen box, let me know what you think. I, I mean, I'm a shutter. I've always had shutter. I'm not really too familiar with screen box and what the differences are. I see it does have a couple movies that I don't believe are on shutter, but this could be old. I don't know. Then we have a scratch and sniff sticker, which is a hacksaw. So that's kind of cool. Let's see what it smells like. a reference to something I don't remember this smells like <sighs> it smells like like some kind of lotion uh, it smells like uh, vanilla ice cream almost like vanilla lotion <laughs> interesting oh it's art crispies it's art crispies scratch and sniff sticker so that's what it smells like. It smells like Art Krispies cereal. It, it does have like a sugary, a sugary scent. That's really cool. So yeah. But that's it guys. That's all that, you know, that's all she wrote pretty much. Um, you know, the two VHS tapes, a scratch and sniff sticker, 30 bucks. I think it's a great deal. Uh, again, you have to be, you know, you have to decide for yourself if you want to feed the scalpers. Unfortunately, that's the world we're living in. It is what it is. So I'm gonna give these a spin. On the, uh, you can see what they look like up close. And then we'll pop them into the VCR and um, see what it looks like. So be right back, guys. Damien Leone here, writer, director of Terrifier 2, presenting Terrifier 2 on VHS. The VHS format holds a very special place in my heart because when I was a kid growing up in the late 80s, early 90s, I frequented this mom and pop video store called Pick a Flick, and that's where I discovered many of my favorite films of all time. The funny thing about VHS is many times you would rent a movie based on how good the cover art was. Problem is, nine times out of ten, the movie was never as good as the poster. What I wanted to do with Terrifier 2 was design a poster that captured the essence of those films, one that would have immediately grabbed the attention of seven-year-old Damien, but I also wanted to create a film that lived up to the promise of that poster. I hope we did that. Um, it's always such a privilege when one of my films is put on this very special format. So we hope you enjoy it, but most of all, long live physical media.